go. I came in 98. I came to finish my degree in geology and geography. Then did a master in geographic information systems. Mm -hmm. Then we moved to the United States. I did a PhD there and just got fed up with the university and came back and carried on building boats. families at the turn of the century, the Baileys and the Logans, that were doing really good crafts, really nice uh, wooden boats made out of cavalry. And today there is quite a movement to preserve, use and race a lot of these boats. So we do a few small boats, a few new small boats, but most of our work is in restoring old ones. When we start working on an old boat, we don't really know how much damage we'll find once we really peel the exterior. Here in the shop there are two curry boats, one mahogany and a new one. Um, there is another mahogany one up on the hill. Um, they were particular in that, unlike the British and American timber boats, um, the New Zealand boats don't use frames. Um, they use three skins, three layers of wooden skins riveted together, and the three layers form form a monocoque or a chassis, or self-supporting hull that does not really require require uh, stringers and um, and uh, frames. Yeah, and cowries and magnificent timber lasts a long time. It bends easily, glues easily. It takes the fastenings. But yeah, it's, uh, it's expensive. <laughs> if you got the passion, you can do a good job. Um, at the end of the day, there's a lot of common sense involved. A few tricks that you learn quickly. The passion, because it's not easy on the back, it's not easy in your hands, it's not easy on your health. But yeah, if you enjoy it. The biggest boat I worked on was a Bailey's boat called the uh, um, Viking. She was put together in a matter of months, but there were 300 people working in the yard. She's completely wonky, asymmetric, the buckets go all over the place, it was clearly put together fast. Um, but then manpower was cheap. Timber was plentiful, manpower was cheap, the costs were relative. And now, um, to build a 60-foot schooner, 12,000 main hours is probably just barely enough. Um, so a crew of four would take you a few years. Mm. And not everybody can afford the salary for it. Mm. Or the materials, or, or the fitting costs. So um, It's much faster to build a, a fiberglass boat or an alloy boat. Mm. It takes a lot longer for timber. This is a William Gartner design uh, kit, 1949. Um, it's a big beamy boat, about 15 tons. Lots of room inside and really seaworthy. Hopefully, she'll be back. Hi, Molly. There's the resident dogs. Well, one of them, anyway. So, what are the advantages of timber? Why do you do wooden um, boats? Beside the beauty, um, they, in my opinion, they, if looked after, they last just as long, if not longer, than a fiberglass boat. Um, they are a more traditional craft, for sure. Um, whether, the, whether there are real benefits to it, I, can, I can't even be sure myself, other than just the look. There are some beautiful modern yachts made in uh, fiberglass. 
old looking lines and beautiful to look at as to whether they last 150 years I don't know uh, we haven't had 150 years of fiberglass so uh, no I just like uh, just like the timber I just like working with it I like the fact that the boats themselves are work of art and then they actually move race I had my own boat down the marina timber boat the cauldry I just like the cruising it no engine, no noise. It's fun, you work with other people. I'm seldom by myself. We crack out laughing all the time. You can see what you've done at the end of the day. Uh, it's not like I turn off the computer and what I've done it disappears, I don't know where. Um, it's just the freedom of it, um, the company, the results, I say. More, more than anything else, I think it, it would, would be the results. What is at the end of it, it's just beautiful. And the history behind some of them. Now I'm trying to finish West Alone Institute of Marine Technology and just at the thesis um, to become an naval architect. That's probably more relevant to what I do than all the other studies I have done. <laughs> but I think I, I say it took a PhD to realize what I did not want to do. And then I'm happy now. Messy, but happy.